The next few days of sub-freezing weather means dangerous travel conditions not only for drivers but people who use public transportation as well. Joining us now on the phone is Meg Thomas-Riley from Metra. Good morning, Meg. Good morning. So, you know, in Barrington, there were wires on the tracks that disrupted the Metro Union Pacific Northwest trains yesterday. Trains back and running by mid-afternoon. But are there any other disruptions that are taking place because of the weather right now? Not currently, but we are on the lookout for them. I mean, the, the, the snow is only the start of the storm for us. The cold is the next thing we have to battle. So we'll today a lot of it is, is clean up and making sure our yards are as free as possible of snow and ice so that we can get the equipment and service it. And then it's going to be protecting the equipment while we, um, while the temperatures drop. And then of course our passengers, uh, it's, uh, you know, as you were, the, they were talking in the earlier story about how the, the conditions of the roads right now, that's particularly, you know, for our people going to our stations, but people driving around the area, be careful around rail crossings. Cause this is the type of weather we get a lot of cars stuck on crossings because people are either going too fast or trying to beat the crossing, which is never a good idea, but, no. um, and then they end up stuck. So Meg, you know, you're talking about the upcoming deep freeze. Tell us a little bit more what this could mean for Metro riders and what Metro is doing about that. Okay, a lot of that, a lot of that comes into one, like I said, cleaning up the yard so we can get to the equipment um, because this type of snow and it's heavy and wet, and then it's going to freeze. It's going to cause chunks of ice to freeze to the trains. That can affect braking systems. That also, when they go over a switch, will you know can clog a switch. So we've got people out there until this is over on 12-hour shifts at major switching points, just minding them. And so that and like yesterday, also we also in addition to that line had a had a lot of comed problems as well. Um, we had different, we had generators that had to go on because we lost power in a number of, of key locations. So we're also minding that. Uh, as far as I know, most of that was restored by ComEd yesterday, but we have to mind it throughout. Meg, thanks so much for keeping us up to date on what Metro is doing to keep commuters safe.